Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tina and today I have a small uh, haul as far as um, I have some Bibles and then I have um, some pens and whatnot. So I got a small haul and I'm super excited. So I thought I would share this with you. Um, I haven't even opened these and obviously I haven't opened this one. Um, so let's get started. I will tell you, um, these I'm going to put off to the side for now. And that is my planner. Okay. I'm a little bit unorganized, but that's normal. So I ordered Mr. Pen supplies off of Amazon. And I will tell you that I already have the set, the ballpoint pen, no bleed set here. And there's six or so of these in the set and I love them. I've used them in my Bible. They don't bleed through. You can see them, of course, if you have it up to the light, but other than that, no. Um, and then one of the other favorite things that I have is this sticky pad set. And I love using these um, in my Bible journaling and just journaling in general. So those are like my favorite. I thought I got those a while ago. And I wanted to kind of try out and test out Mr. Penn stuff. And now that um, I am happy and I know that I'm happy with them. Um, also, before I forget, uh, let me pull it out. These tabs are from Mr. Penn. Um, yeah. The ones I had on there before. Okay, so the ones I had before were very floral. And they just had the words over the floral. Made it very hard to read in certain lighting. And so I just figured I would replace them with a neutral color palette. Um, just to be able to read them quickly and just grab and go. And I do that with that Bible because the pages are so thin and so hard to turn at times. They kind of stick together and I can't get them to separate. So... Um, I need a pen for this, or a, sorry, a pair of scissors, I forgot that part. So I'm going to show you what I opened already. We're going to set that aside. And then I'm going to show you, um, the pen test on here. So these I got, these are transparent stickies and I hesitated to get these, but I'm, I've thought about it and I'm really kind of more excited now that I kind of have a game plan. For these, um, and I can link the the stuff that I have here on Amazon um, below when I'm done. But these are just little stickies, and you can write on them. But I'm going to tell you, you have to write with a particular pen. Mr. Pen sends this pen in uh, in the package with it and it's almost it looks like a felt tip pen but it's not generally just it's not a normal felt tip pen um let me see if i can pull it off here so i'll tell you i did um this the love that is with the mr pen that came pen that came with it and it dried pretty quickly and as you can see there's no smudges the joy when i wrote joy i was testing out because i love these these are the sharpie felt pen, felt tip pens um and i tend to grab these more often than not so and i even let it sit there for a good like five minutes and obviously they're not going to work but the high is a sharpie ultra fine point permanent marker so you can see the tip is very you know thin um i think this is a it's ultra fine so i think it's a point three i don't think it has it on here but i do know you can even go to walmart and get these um you can either get like an all black set of like five or so or you can get oh i think i saw a couple black a red and a blue and a green in the set um, for these. 
So you can, if you, you know, say you need another one or you um, want different colors, you don't have to go and like find them on Mr. Pen. If you have these at home, you can use these. So I'm kind of excited to use those. And I will have to figure out exactly how I'm going to um, put them in my bag. This is the next thing. And I would show you the backing and I pulled it back out of my recycling to find out that my cat used the recycling box as a litter box. So we're just gonna leave it there. This is a highlighter pen um, set. Oh, excuse me. It's been a long day already. So um, I have a paper here and I'm gonna do just a general um, pen test and show you. These I'm kind of, th these I'm kind of hesitant because they're more crayon-like than anything, which I mean, it could work. I just, I'm not sure I'm okay with the texture on the paper. These are ultra fine. What does it say? I want to say they're 0.5. I don't know. I don't remember what these are, but these are, um, what do you call it? Ballpoint pens. So this kind of highlights like that. And you can see through it. I did it on another um, paper earlier. And I'll show you the colors that come with this. As I said, it's kind of a waxy. Oh, there we go. The tip is like that. And it's kind of a waxy crayon feel. Um, I'm not sure about that. So I guess it, and it does have a waxy feel on the paper. So it is different. We'll go with different. And this is a nice bright yellow without being overly bright. Um, and I will have to find something to put these in because obviously, um, I don't know if I'll just put them in another pocket or what. Let me pull these out here because that's getting annoying. So with these, it tells you, I don't know where I put the card. Anyway, the card tells you, it comes with a little ball on it. So you take the ball off and it tells you to use these on a piece of paper and just kind of scribble. That gets the ink flowing. So if you have problems with the ink flowing, then that would be why. So this is more like a 0.5 maybe. Oh, my son's cat. Hi, sweetheart. Come on. Um, so, and that kind of looks more like a red. Come on up. Come on. There you go. <laughs> so now my cat's on my lap. <laughs> um, there's not a yellow, but this one's a tan. And these, by the way, these just click. So it's kind of neat. I like those. It's kind of a burnt, uh, like a brown, like a tan, which is kind of interesting. And they write quite nicely. Um, there's the green. The green is bolder. I'm trying to write with a cat on my lap, so please keep that in mind. Um, we'll use the blue. That is a dark blue, kind of like a darker, I would have thought it would have been a lighter blue. And then this is the purple. So, and that's a vibrant purple. So I think I'm really gonna like the pens um, just because I don't have to mess with cap and I just wanted, and these obviously, let me show you, these write differently. So this is the blue from the Mr. Pen uh, fine point. I think it's a 0.7, oops, excuse me. So you see, it's not too different, but it is a little different um, than the ones that I just got. That being said, I got a set of fine liners with a tray woo, um, from Mr. Pin, and I haven't even opened these up. If you see the cat, he's just a ham and he is all over my lap and he likes 
watching what I do and sometimes participating. So, um, I always look in here. These are fun. And so if you haven't gotten any Mr. Pen stuff in every package or any item, you always get a moustache. So those are kind of fun. <laughs> and a thank you. And don't forget to go and get the QR code. Um, I think you get a free set of paper clips, which I am about ready to order some paper clips. Uh, because I would like a set of paper clips. So let me see if I can figure this out. Um, hmm. uh, oh, hold on. Oh, all right, maybe. Maybe, maybe. It doesn't give you much to group on to. What on earth? I have a feeling this other side's supposed to come up, but I can't get it to come up. Maybe it is that. Haha, -ha, it was. Okay. So if you get these, make sure that there's no sticker right there <laughs> because it will hold it. Ah, there we go. Okay. I see. Look at a little tabby to go in the back to hold it up. Isn't that neat? Okay. So you can see it comes in this nifty little case that you can hold, get it to hold it up. They are very thin. Um, mm. what is that? It just says Mr. Pen. Again, I don't know. I know this, I think this is the thinnest ones, the ultra doesn't say on here what the point is, but it's gonna be very thin. Kind of like a Statler fine liner, which I have had those for many years and I love them. So I'm gonna go through here and kind of just do a little pen test. And this is just a piece of plain um, printer paper. Come on, go back in there. It's a new set, so just bear with me. <laughs> Um, ooh, that is bright. Brighter than I would have thought, but I think the whole set is bright. Now, I do not know. Um, I'm not sure because I don't remember. Ooh, that is a bold orange. Um, I don't know if they come in a different color palette or if it's just this. Um, so you'd have to look. There's the bubblegum pink kind of color. <laughs> um, you'd have to look on Amazon to see um, if they come with that. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. That's the yellow. Kind of see the yellow there. But these are, I think these are going to be quite nice. I need to do a pen test in my Bible. And um, maybe after this I will do a quick pen test. They write quite nicely, um, and they are comparable to the Statler fine liners. So if you have those, you might try them first. I have them. I've had mine for a really long time, and I'm kind of like just a collector of pens. <laughs> collector of pens and highlighters. So I thought I thought I was kind of due for maybe a couple additional sets. So that's why I went ahead and bought these. Um, they're quite affordable. I think this was like $7 or under, I want to say. So that one is a, was a brown and a gray to finish it off. Um, and this is again, just a piece of 20 pound white printer paper to give you a color comparison. Um, let me see if I can't find... Piece of my Bible. Let's see. Okay, I have that one. Let's go to the back. I want to test them out. And I know I have a piece of paper. I know I've got these back here. I'm just going to test one of each in here. And I will try to pick like the most, lack of a better term, the brightest or most annoying colors. So, yes, I see you. 
I see you. He keeps bumping my arm. He's a happy camper. Where are you going? All right, down you go. Um, okay, and then we'll do this one. This is a ballpoint, and that one's a felt tip, okay? So we have that. And then let's try just for the heck of it. Because you never know what you can see through the page. So I try to do highlighters and like everything, just a little pen test. So let's see. Okay, so because, and I'm telling you, this is like thin, but it's like normal Bible page. Um, so if you use, I wouldn't necessarily use these felt in my Bible because, as you can see, it came through really, really boldly. The ballpoint over here, this came through kind of like everything else does because it is thin, but it did not bleed like the felt tip. And then the highlighters, you can barely see it, and you can only really see it if you hold it up kind of funny to the light. So I got all kinds of pet hair in there too. So there is that. Um, just so that you are aware if you go to purchase these. Um, but I am looking forward to using these. Um, I wanted to use them in the margins of my Bible, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I will probably just use them in my planners um, and go from there. But again, um, let me show you how these are. Um, so this is a lighter one. You should put it over and you can still read through. Um, Bible here. Let's see. Do one that I really haven't worked on yet. Um, but you can just put it down and you can still read the text through it, write something on top of it, and still move it or remove it to read underneath. So, um, and you can even do that for a tab because it's only sticky on like the half of it. So if you really wanted to, you could use it as a bookmark and you just have that bookmark flag out there because none of this is sticky. So that's an option too. Um, let's dive into these Bibles. Um, I haven't really dove into these. I just, um, I went to the city. <laughs> so I got a, um, if you have an Ollie's, let me just tell you, you need to shop at Ollie's and go with a budget because you can overspend quite easily if you were just going for random items. Um, I knew what I was going in there for. And so I went in and I came back out. <laughs> I found this, um, it's a CSB Christian standard Bible. I have never had a CSB, but this is a Lifeway women's Bible and it's kind of, Let's see. Um, it has Bible study and devotional content. It has a hundred articles placed alongside the corresponding biblical text, a hundred short devotional thoughts placed throughout the Bible, Bible genre introductions with short overview and reading plans, um, 66 book focused introductions, 40 character, 40 character profiles, uh, 35 reflection questions, or more than, I should say, nearly 100 brief inspirational quotes, over 25 word studies on individual words or phrases, 30 plus charts, tables, and maps, a distinctive full color design element, uh, two column text layout, black letter text for easy readability, which I will tell you, this is going to be new for me because I grew up with a red letter King James. That is all I ever read. That's all I ever had. Um, and so, in fact, my mom had, when she, when I was younger, she had a red letter um, American standard. So not having a red letter is a big change for me uh, because I'm just have had it my entire life. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, 9.5 font. Uh sewn flat binding, river, ribbon marker, concordance, presentation page, and full color maps. So um, let's dive in and it's 
not my favorite box. This is, I like the clamshells because they're easier to put them back in and store them on the bookshelf. So I picked this color. They had this or like a bright yellow. So I picked this um, and this is more like a nice, it's not cloth, but it, it kind of has that woven look, but it's still like a pleather. Um, and this is a smoother. This has texture and this does not, but there's the spine. Um, so I figured if I wanted a few Bibles, um, I like collecting Bibles and different uh, translations because I like comparing the different translations and stuff. And so I figured this would be good for that. And um, just having these extra little things. Um, so there's the table of contents and the books of the Bible, which I thought this was interesting. I've never seen them abbreviated that way. And then you've got them, you got the New Testament here. This is them alphabetically, and that's pretty standard for any Bible. You've got the introduction to this Bible, which if you have a Bible, you get a new Bible, I suggest you read it. I suggest you take, because it tells you when they did that translation or did this particular Bible, it tells you why and how they came out with it. Um, I don't even know when the CSBs were written. So this gives an overview of the features. And then this tells you, okay, so genre introductions and then articles. So books of law, historical, that's going to be very interesting to read. Um, articles. So it's probably going to talk about the blood of the lamb. It's probably going to talk about um, maybe, I don't know, it's too soon for the crucifixion. We'll have to see. Um, there's character profiles, which I am absolutely looking forward to. And then a closer look. So these are going to be very interesting articles to see how they um, looked at that and expanded on them. Um, and then word studies. So I, this is pretty helpful when you um, are in the middle of studying and you don't want to go and find a study or a biblical dictionary because looking at a regular dictionary doesn't always translate it correctly. Um, and then further reflections. And then they have charts, maps, and tables. I've also never had a Bible that had maps. I've never had a Bible that's had cross references written in it. Um, so I think I'm really going to like this Bible. So there's more information about it. And then we start the books of law. So this is what the introduction is going to be like for every section um, of the Bible. And then you move into and you have the introduction to the book. And I really like the the topicals because this is kind of what I want um, and key verses and then a timeline this is so helpful to put things in order um, I'm very visual so having this here is very very helpful and I I'm gonna love that part let's see um, so there's a closer look so it's talking about 127 so where is 27? So God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. And then they expanded down here. Um, if there is a creator God and this God is the personal relationship, re, relational God of the Bible, then it would be reasonable to say that he created us faculties by which we can know more about him and then it goes on and then there's a character profile of Eve so not every page is going to have something like that but I love that they have the cross references here this is going to be more probably more of a study bible like a study reference bible let's see the back let's see genre of acts so it tells you a little bit about it Oh, they implemented them in there. This is super helpful. Oh my goodness. This is wonderful. So while you're reading and you're like, where or how far or how is that path? You can see visually on the map. That is so helpful. Um, 
So that I, um, you're getting firsthand reactions. I didn't look at these before I left the store and came home. This is what I mean. I've never had a Bible that had these in the back and I absolutely love that they have these. So this is the Lifeway Women's Bible Christian Standard Edition. Um, so I'm going to go on to the next one, but I'm also going to go, before I go to the next one, I'm going to pop this one in here. This is the one that we ordered. My son picked this out for his graduation. Um, so at his graduation, he wants those that are comfortable. That's the dog. Don't worry about that. He wants those that are comfortable to highlight or note a verse of encouragement of direction, of prayer, of whatever, and then maybe put a little note on the side. Um, and we're going to get special pens for this. But I love, this is the box I love. I love these because they're so much easier. This is a um, Journal of the Word King James Bible. Now, I'm showing you this because this is different than mine. And mine's an NKGB. So he picked this, and this is gorgeous. Look at that Bible cover. That is absolutely gorgeous. But I just want to show a little bit of this. And it's, I like that it's, you know, they had it in the brown. It's kind of more manly. Mine is a brown, but it's not very manly. <laughs> um, this is a different journal of the word. And are they? Yep, they're about the same size. His is a little bit wider than mine. Um, so, but for his, his print is also darker. I'm going to compare this for you. So his print, and it's, we think it's because it's on different paper. If I would have, I would have preferred to get one on white paper like he did. Um, but again, I bought mine at Ollie's years ago. Um, and so, and I, I'm slowly working through this year on journaling through this Bible, but um, his print is darker and stands out better. And the lines stand out because a lot of times I'm struggling in different lighting to find the line <laughs> and I've just given up. I kind of just try to write my best as I can in straight lines. Um, but there is a difference there, but it looks like the font sizes are the same. Uh, so that is what we got for him. Um, and his pages are kind of thin as, you know, as, uh, they're not a thicker page, but uh, the font, I think, the font size is the same as mine, but I think the font might be a little bit different. His just seems to read clearer than mine. Um, and his has two uh, bookmarks. So this one, if you're looking for a journaling Bible, I think I could recommend and say you would probably be safe with almost any, if not any, journaling or journal the word Bible, no matter what version it is. Um, I absolutely love these. So let's put this away. Mm, put that over there. More graduation stuff coming in. Okay, so this one I am kind of excited about. I'm very interested in this one. Um, so, oh, before I forget, this Christian Standard one was $27 at all least. So it's not a break the bank. Oh, it has two bookmarks too. Yay! Um, I have to add more to my main Bible. Um, this one is $13. It originally was priced for 50. So I'm really kind of like interested in this. It looks like it has the Bible and, um, maybe a journal next with it. And it's an NIV. So we're, I figured we could open this up together. It was already somewhat open and uh, it was the last one. So I grabbed it. I, I don't have an NIV of my own, I should say. So let's go see what we have. We have the Bible and then a spacer. Oh my goodness, look, these cards. They have verses on them. I call as my heart grows faint, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Psalm 61 too. So they have these cards. Oh, how cool. Look at this. Are these stickers? Yes, they are. These are stickers, you guys. These are pretty cool. 
So they have these. And then, um, what is this? Is this? That's a notepad. So today, if only you hear his voice. So I might take some like notes or something and I wonder, I wonder, I gotta move stuff around. As I said, I'm running out of place on my desk. I wonder, oh, look at that. I can take notes and stick it in. I can punch it and stick it in. It will fit. It'll be a little bit short, but it'll fit. That's pretty awesome. And then another divider. And then this, and by the way, these covers are a soft, um, leather soft. So this says rest in him. So I'm not sure. Let's do this one because it's smaller. It's a journal. It's an NIV journal. Oh, look at that. I am grateful for prayers. I'm excited for, I'm stressed about things I need to give to God and someone I can serve. And then there's a verse up here. And it's just, I love this. Oh, okay. And then it flips down there. So this is really cool. And there's a space to journal um, a prayer or feelings. I didn't even know I was flipping to that. So there's a um, inspirational page. So I wonder how many are in here. This is pretty cool. Um, I will see if I can find this on Amazon or somewhere or christianbooks.com and see if I can't link it down below because this is pretty cool. Um, Cause I have the ISBN here. So let's dive into the Bible. I don't know who did what. I have cats and dogs. So there's the front. Um, so it's the same as the journal. There's the front page and the title and it's a Zonder Ram. Why is that? Okay. And then this I think is gonna be a pretty low key Bible, pretty standard, um, basic, which is fine. There's the preface, which again, tells you about the Bible translation. It tells you how they translated, why they did, who did, and um, any possible conflicts or concerns. A lot of times if they have um, concerns with different translations or people like having possible, you know, belief problem if they translated something differently. Um, so I urge you to read the preface, introductions, or whatever in any Bible that you get. So this Old Testament, and then we dive right in. And I kind of like the, I like the font. It's easy to read. Um, my eyes, I is not, I, I've never had the best eyes. But it's very clean, and it has footnotes. Um, so that is is really nice um that they have the footnotes they don't have the cross references but that's okay because um if i'm not wanting to take my journaling bible which is the main one i work out of all the time if i don't want to take that one to church with me i can just grab this one and go um and again it looks like it is not a red letter edition Nope, no red letters. So again, this is going to be like really interesting for me. I just saw like a whole, like it almost looked like it was different um, format, but there's probably just the way it was laid out. Because again, I'm used to a single column at this point. I had uh, my older Bible is a double column King James red letter. The one that I'm using, the journal through the Bible or the journaling Bible is a single column red letter. So double column, going back to a double column is gonna be a little um, interesting as far as, you know, my brain, you know, focusing on stuff and transferring things over. So, oh no, it is red letter. Cool. Okay. So again, as, as you saw, I hadn't seen this. It did not say much of anything um, on the outside packaging so the fact that I'm trying to find what this black line is but I don't know if it means anything or it's just the way the page was cut it's just the way the page is cut um 
So it is a red letter edition, which is really nice because then it just has more familiarity, I guess you would say. And there's revelations. Is there anything after? I don't think there is. As I said, it looks like a pretty standard. Okay, so they have the basic table of weights and measures, which really helpful. <laughs> really, really helpful, especially in uh, the books of law, the Pentateuch books, um, because they do a lot of measurements of things in there. And this is so pretty. So I am loving this. Um, I actually thought of using this maybe as a prayer Bible, but I think I'm going to get a different one for a prayer Bible. But with this, I am so excited. That's really cool. I love the, I love the bonuses and it was so much, it was cheaper. So this is my Bible haul um, for now. I, I should say for now. <laughs> Uh, look for the links down below and I will link anything that I can find um, down below. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching this and I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.